Truth Quotient LLC releases a new software. Hello there. This is John Nasha reporting for the Objective News Network. At ONN, we have a license to use a new software product developed by a company called Truth Quotient LLC. The new software is called Authentication. We use authentication to help us validate and write the stories we produce and broadcast here at ONN. In the digital age, all of us know what's on the internet is a very mixed bag. Some of the information on the internet is true, some of it's false, but most of it lies somewhere in between as either partially true or partially false. In the emerging era of artificial intelligence, AI, the problem has only become worse. Using natural language processing, or NLP for short, AI goes out into the vast seas of data out there on the internet and indiscriminately brings back to you data that has not been tested for its validity or accuracy. About two years ago now, Truth Quotient LLC came up with an idea. The idea was to create a new and powerful software tool that would be able to independently police the quality of the data we draw from the internet and other sources to tell us how true the information we hear, see, or read actually is, including AI-generated content. The software would provide a transparent way to independently confirm the validity of the data and be able to provide you with a degree of truth. I often use the metaphor of the baker making bread and adding sawdust to the dough. The first question is, did the baker add any sawdust to the dough in the first place? If he did, then the second question automatically becomes, how much did he add? During the first year of operation, Truth Quotient LLC was able to produce an early alpha version of the software that was designed to deal with some of the dangers of decision-imbued machine learning systems that use natural language processing to generate AI content. About a year ago, Truth Quotient LLC released Authentication version 1.0. The software was able to look across the internet, harvest and analyze data to determine its sentiment and ground truth based on the assertion and to determine its empirical credibility. Beliefs and opinions were separated out to only focus on the provable facts. Using data harvesting, Truth Quotient LLC was able to identify and bring back to the user both supporting and debunking URLs to help them determine whether any given assertion was true, false, and the degree of truth or falsity. We have found authentication to be a great tool for us to do research and to help us write the stories we produce here at ONN. With the success of the alpha version of authentication, Truth Quotient LLC continued to develop the software and just last week released authentication version 2.0. The new version is much, much more powerful and now has a special dynamic truth meter that tells you the degree of truth or falsity for simple assertions and provides a transparent way to provide credible, footnotable sources that empirically prove or disprove simple assertions. Over the coming weeks, we will be increasing our use of authentication and the software here at ONN to assure both the validity 
and the objectivity of news broadcasts that we make. We have found authentication to be an invaluable tool for separating fact from fiction in a world full of myths and disinformation. If you are interested in learning more about authentication and want to try the new software firsthand yourself, please visit the following URL. This is John Nacio reporting for the Objective News Network. It is what it is for Monday, August 28, 2023. Thanks for watching, and please tell your family, friends, and colleagues about us. See you the next time.